What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more of the Cat Lady. Last episode, we made it. We saw some. We finished up with the psychiatric ward. It was very scary times. And then when the crow god talked to us or something. Um, in this episode, I guess we're gonna. We're gonna just go from left to right now and see if that does anything for me. Oh god. Hello? Okay. Is he gonna die? Probably. Looks really old. Oh, something's fading. Oh god. Well, I wasn't sure what I was looking at for a second there, but there we go. That guy was really old. Bye. Good night, my sweet prince. Oh god. Is that Anne Burton? What the? Who's this? Who are these guys? I don't seem too concerned. Oh, he's back alive. It's like they just gave him the breath of life for something. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, there's some squishies. And I'm in complete darkness. Looks like I don't have to go sacrifice my arm again, which is weird. Okay, go this way. No, of course not. It's always worth a little. What? I saw that shadow! Look at that. I saw that. Does that do anything though? That's supposed to be anything? Doesn't look like it. Interesting though. Very interesting indeed. Hey, it's a body bag. I thought it was a slug. It's a hospital body bag. Um, was there anything else? Oh, can we please? Nope, doesn't seem to be. Open it. Why not? What the? What's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, it just flows on the floor. It's gone though. No, it's not. It's not there. What the heck? She's not open. Is that supposed to happen? Oh, yep, she's going down. I feel like I'm dead. Am I dead? Hello? This is a bad idea. This is the worst of all ideas, actually. It gave me the option to back out. Oh, oh, it's me again. Hi. Okay, now what? Okay. Is it going to open its eyes at me? Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, I called it. And now it's me inside. But it's okay because I'm- Was it me in the hospital bed? It didn't really look like it, but I guess I could very well- Oh. I have killed everyone. Oh no. That is not good. Okay. You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. Oh, so is this not the second parasite? This means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. Neat. I think it's time to find out how very mortal <gasps> you are, Doctor. Yeah, let's go take that whatever thing to suicide note examine. It's a suicide note. Why were they put up on the wall? My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in a two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Is that it? That's a boring... Uh, he brings his victims down to the hospital and possible body. But okay, sweet. Who's this? Iron bar. Piece of sharp iron bar stuck in the girl's chest. Mm, I'm half expecting to see Liz in here. There's another body bag to the right here. What's this? Oh, yeah, it's an iron bar. You know, the thing I just picked up. I already forgot what it said. Oh, holy crap. A corpse. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This looks like he's been dead for a long time. Huh, interesting. Alright, let's examine it. Old rusty door. Rusty spirit. Why would it leave it unlocked? It wasn't even locked. Exactly. Myth. Well, of course, I'm not a prisoner here. You thought I was. Why would he leave it unlocked, though? You should never take things for granted to dock because this might just be the biggest mistake you've ever made. Okay. Yeah. But it's like, what if someone else came here, right? Here, I'm hearing the screams. I'm hearing all the screams. I don't find anything else. Maybe I could use this chair as a weapon. But I already have one. <laughs> Just put it in your pocket. Oh, there we go. Yay for flimsy chairs. Yeah, it's like, oops, I didn't get to read what that said. Um, I could use this weapon if I could, but if only I could make it longer. I need to find a way to extend it. Can I use this? Bad idea. Bad idea. Why is it a bad idea? Not here. 
salmon. Seems quite sturdy with some alterations made. I guess I could use it. You could use any. You could use an iron bar as a weapon. It's a freaking iron bar. Oh god, that head though. Why? That's not a good idea. I always hear a click when I use this thing. This is weird. There's a little bar of soap here on one of the shelves. Oops. Take it. Don't know what I could use this for. Uh, now it smells of dust and dirt. I guess use it with the sink. Don't, I really cover it in the lather now. It might be useful for something else. I guess I don't really know what. Hi, head. There's a saw blade here. Can I take that. There we go. It's very sharp indeed. It does. I just use all the weapons really. I don't know. It's not letting me examine it. That's weird. Examine. Circular blade. Could use be used as a weapon. Not here. Okay. Could we go left? Right? Okay. Let's try left. <laughs> uh, at least back to the cell. Stench of death coming from it. See, why would he not leave it locked for other people if they came here, though? Good God. Freaking Mona Lisa. He steals artwork, too. Oh, God. Look out, Susan! Hello? Oh god. What? Oh, I've seen some of this before, the living paintings. The, uh, this here is a dead body suspended on wires to try to make a chair. Oh. Cool. Creepy, but cool. Oh, I see the leg now, too. Oh, she backing away? Back away. You're I found the body. For this, you bastard. Yay, I'm Mona Lisa examined. Seems to use a lot of makeup on turn to a spinning image of the Mona Lisa. That's actually really creative. Really disgustingly. S I don't know which way to go. The screams are getting louder when I go this way. Hey, it's a skeleton. Spooky, scary skeleton. I think skeleton are probably been used for teaching for ended up here. Yeah, that'd be really creepy to find. Large metal bolt lays on one of the shelves. Take it. Just take all the deadly things. I mean, now you seem like I could use them. Like, in conjunction with each other, an easel. Doctor probably considers himself quite an artist. <laughs> Workbench examine. I could probably make a weapon here. Workbench examine. Return to room. Okay. Okay. Return to room. Uh huh. Use. Okay, let's use an iron bar. And I don't know what that actually said. Oh, crap. There we go. And a chair leg. And a wet bar of soap. Can I throw this off here? Oh god. And a saw blade. Oh. Oh, hello. I should secure it atop my weapon now so that the saw stays in place when I use it. What? Oh, I was like, where'd I get a flashlight from? But no. It wouldn't work. Well, crap. So, okay. Interesting. Uh huh. I guess we need to go find more things. Can I shift to run? No, I can't. Okay, it was worth a try, really. I have cap locks on my keyboard for some reason. Okay. Clearly, we won't all go left since that's where the screams are all coming from. I bet it's Liz. Since I didn't see her in that death room, I'm assuming it is Liz. Lady with an eerie body. I wonder what painting that's supposed to be. I don't recognize that one. This body is quite decomposed already. Uh, real art lasts forever. Ducks models will soon rot and fall apart. Oops. Uh, the sick man, how do you manage to hide all this madness? Cause it's not all real, it's all the freaking purgatory. I guess he couldn't get a hold of an ermine, so he used this creepy baby doll instead. Oh, I see. Take doll's head, why not? I could probably find some use for this. Yeah, that's exactly what I would say too. I'd be like, yeah, dead doll, or freaking baby doll head, I could totally use this for something. It seems like this place has been closed down for quite some time. Oh, what? Um, one day... When they eventually demolish it, all the evidence will be buried deep under the piles of rubble. 2008? 08? 1408, that's what that says. Alright, there's another dead body. This must be the only way out of here. It's locked. Okay, I'm kinda great it is, cause more options- Hey! But, it's impossible! I spoke to her last night! I tried to stop her from jumping! Well, yeah. And yet, here she is, stuck in a metal rod, looking like she's been dead longer than that. Oh. Oh, so it was her spirit talking to me. What happened then? Was it just a dream? Am I really going crazy? Or was she really there? Just already dead. That's actually cool. Her pockets are empty. 
kicked down. We'll at least find some peace and death. Aw, that's really sad. Poor Liz. And I got another iron bar thing. Yay! Mm. Okay, well, can I use, like... Okay, um... Use the soap here? Can I do it? Okay, I thought maybe I could, like, you know, use the soap as kind of like a lubricant to open the door. Not here. What is this, actually? A sharp, another sharp iron bar, huh? Ooh, torch it to... Okay. Okay, let's go back to the workbench. Maybe we could dual wield. Is that a door? No, apparently not. Okay. Let's go back to the workbench and see what we can do. Is it that room? I don't think so. Have I... Uh, is this room here, right? There we go. Okay, that skeleton's only gonna jump at me at some point. <laughs> okay, let's use it. Use, nope, can't, okay, well, it was worth a try. Use, it wouldn't work, why not? Have some freaking, oh, great. That's awesome, actually. What a freaking amazing weapon. Can I use this, too? Oh, my God, yes. <gasps> The bolt needs to be secured in place now, otherwise it'll just all fall apart. Mace, oh my god. I'm ready for you now, doctor. Bring it on. Let's see what's in your head. Can't do anything with the soap here. I wonder what the soap's gonna be used for then. Sweet! Okay, well I guess that's that's that. Return to room. Oh my good lord, I can't wait to use this. This is gonna be awesome! I can't wait to freaking murder Dr. X with a great goodness gracious mace. I wonder why I blew out the second candle now, though. That's weird. You know, I'm saving it here. I don't trust this. Damn screams, though. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> okay. Hi. You look like Rose from the Titanic. Well, not really, but I mean, you know the painting? Yeah. You know the poor victim of the Mad Doctor? There's something shiny on her fingers. Ooh, look at hands. Take the ring. Oh, it's a nut. Oh, nuts. I can pull off. It wasn't swollen and stiff. Can I use the freak in me? Ooh, that bum on that second body over there. I should get to Dr. X first. Oh, you know what? I use the soap on it. That's right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use the soap. Use the soap. There we go. That's what we use the soap for. Come on. Ooh, look at that rot flash. Mm. Go with a pearl earring. Her limp body is positioned in the exact same way as the painting. Simply the killer used wire to keep her head tilted to the side. That's so... That's crazy. Mm, okay. Can I use any of this? Uh, I really feel like this is, would be a good enough weapon, really, to take care of Dr. X. But let's go back to the workbench and use these together and hopefully get the ultimate weapon. The ultimate death weapon, High Skellington. Good lord. Okay. Use. Use the freaking nut. There we go. Now I just need to tighten, you, tighten that nut. Use what? Are you cereal? That's still not good enough for you. Just use your hand. It'll be good enough. What do you, ex what do you expect? Like freaking how many times you want to mash him? Once you kill him once, you just have to like you know, just hit him once, one time. And who cares if the weapon goes flying? He'll, he'll still be dead. The pearl earring. I don't think that would tighten it though, right? Have we seen a tool anywhere else? I don't think we have. Locker. Okay, let's open it. Uh, let's open it quietly. <laughs> I actually bumped my mic there. I apologize. Take the wrench. There we go. Can we just use it here, please? So I don't have to go back to the workbench. Okay, can we use this? Oh, God. No, you, why do you need to go to a workbench to freaking put this on? Hopefully this is it. Once again. And we shall kill Dr. I. This is actually really creative. Props to the game creators, like whoever thought of this, well for one, that's really creepy someone would be actually be able to think of this, but that's actually really like, you know, interesting, I guess. Uh, use it. There we go. The weapon's complete. I suppose it's time to go see the doctor. Oh my good lord. What? What do I got a spear? Looks like the killer's rods will contribute to his own death. Mm, why do I why do I got that back all of a sudden? Do I have two weapons now? Is that what's going on here? Was there, was there any need? Do I need two weapons? Well, anyway, I think the baby the the baby mace is pretty freaking awesome, not gonna lie. I wish I was a weapon in, like, every game. That should be, like, the ultimate weapon in, like, every game ever. Master Sword killed Ganondorf? Pfft. 
I have a freaking baby mace. Okay, um, I definitely feel like I should- Nah, you know what? Yeah, let's save one more time. <laughs> baby mace! There we go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, hi! I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. What Scream the hell? Little bitch. Scream your lungs out! Louder, I said! Is he gonna- Oh! She has two screams. She's yes, screaming two different things at the exact same time. This is by my favorite of songs. Me too, this song is pretty cool. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. What if all Your boxes were like this? is like a poem without words. So, not a poem at all then. Let me tell you guys a poem without words. That, that was it. He's wearing a mask and blindfold. Oh, he has convinced something. Well... Looks like you just made a big mistake, you get you aired your body cool. An instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. <laughs> that dance though. Pretty good dancing. Let me show you my own dance! It's called the DEATH MACHINE! Can we use the baby mace yet? Hello? Let me use the baby mace. That was the best dance ever, actually. Ooh, look how happy. Okay. See enough, doctor must die. Attack! Oh, what? Can I... What happens when I do this? Some Shouldn't get close without a weapon. He can see... We can... He can't see me, but he can still hear me. Okay, uh... Let's use the freaking baby mace! Actually, no. Yeah, we gotta try it. Use a freaking baby mace. Use a freaking baby mace. Uh, she feel what's up, Doc? You in camera, Doc? Uh, we got. What should we say? See, you, or you should. Feel, you'll feel a sharp scratch. That the tent dagger. What's up, Doc? Do you believe in karma, Doc? What's, what's up, up, Doc? Doc? Slice him with him with a baby mace. Bye! He didn't reply, that's sad. Maybe I should use the spear. The baby maze, no, no, I'd regret nothing. The baby maze is pretty great. Okay, let's, let's let's see the doctor first. If I got reserved, I hope he rots in hell. No, he is going to heaven, actually, because he's the greatest of all people. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hi! I just saved the girl's life, but why do I st still feel so angry? I don't know, why do you feel angry? Because the freaking doctor killed you? I'd feel pretty satisfied after someone tried to kill me, and then, Thank like, you know, I got my revenge like that. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're definitely not going to be scarred for life. He Don't worry about it. He would have killed me. Like the others. The animal. You, you gave him what he deserved. A baby mace to the face. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Susan Ashworth. They call me the cat lady. They call me I'm the like cat a freaking lady. superhero. Get out of here. Call the police. That cat's pretty awesome, actually. I'm going home. I wonder if this is the real world and I'm just kind of like... Maybe this isn't purgatory. Maybe this is a real world, but I'm kind of like sent in as like, you know... Um, the guardian of people kind of thing, you know? Maybe I'm kind of like a demigod walking among people to try and help. River. Ooh. One thing was actually spoiled to me in this game, and that's the fact there's a haunted house, whatever that means. Um, I, I don't know why I felt like Standing telling you guys that right river, now. I wonder. Me too. Do I need a stone? No. My heart is heavy enough. Mm. It will Throw drag your heart me over. down for sure. Don't try to kill yourself again, woman. Do you want to end up in a psych again? Psych, psych hospital, something. Anyways, once this cutscene ends, I guess I'll call it an episode. I feel like I should have done that right as it said, chapter two. But here we go. Here we go. All that water rushing underneath the bridge. It's all like water under the bridge. Don't jump, Susan, please. You just freaking were a badass and murdered one of the parasites. That we know of. Maybe the girl we saved was the parasite all along. We just helped her. Who knows? 
Maybe the doc, maybe she was the one behind everything and the doctor was actually just trying to finally get revenge. Did anyone ever think of that? Huh? No. Finally, I'm back home. I'll be safe. I kept expecting her to say it. Uh, first off, I should wash off the horrible memories of this night. I'm dying for a shower, something to eat, some coffee, a cigarette. Oh, she does smoke. I love to see my cats do. Let's pretend for a minute everything's back to normal. Survive after all now, maybe we could try and enjoy little things in life, question mark. Oh, okay, yeah, I could do this one step, one step at a time. Okay, well, I just got an objective in the top left corner, interesting. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of The Cat Lady, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. The story's getting interesting. I didn't really like this at first, like the first recording session where I made to the psychiatric hospital. I didn't really like it that much, but now it's actually getting pretty good. I hope it only gets better from here. So, yeah, um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, and peace!